I'm here. I'm I made it. I'm here. Your 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 dear host who can't remember any of his other titles. Well, that the 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 formerly most important person in America according to fairtax.org and now the world. But ah, I tell you, I must have been recording today for two hours sitting in front of this microphone. And what I do is I get done with all my other recordings and then I get to you. And that's why I get to you because I know that you want to hear me whine and cry and mope about how hard my life is. Do you know anybody else doing that? Well, listen, you know, life is, life is most difficult for me more than anybody else. Because my pain, no matter how insignificant, is the only pain that matters. Because I can't feel anyone else's pain, only my own pain. I mean, to a worm in horseradish, the world is horseradish. So you should be all focused on my pain, as the aging kids with their own kids always say, Why can't you see things from my perspective? Uh, yeah. So I'm here. I know. What's been going on in the gossip life of Jesse? Let's inquire. What's been I got some toys this week. Finally, I, I had the opportunity to get this big, huge, fat monitor that I'm looking at, rather than this little... T- I mean, my monitor died. My other monitor died. All of a sudden, it was old and it died. And I finally got another one. So I don't feel claustrophobic anymore. And I got this... this I got this Wacom tablet, man... I mean, have you been following my Instagram and 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 and, and stuff? Have you seen that? I mean, these this. I, I never smoked crack, but it must be good because this Wacom tablet is like crack, man. I whoa, it's just. I mean, it maps to your keyboard and just, and I can draw with it, and it clicks and. Walk, it replaces your mouse, and I'm so geeked about this thing that probably only a third of you know. No, listen, I think everyone should buy these tablets. You can get them for 60 bucks. Get, get the, the tablets, get a pen and a simple touch thing, and it doesn't know your fingers, it only cares about the pen. The pen doesn't have a battery, you don't have to worry about that. Plug it. Just listen, seriously, dude. You've got to get this tablet thing to replace. Learn stuff. Get skills. Do things special, uniquely. You know, I um, had, I really, I mean, it's like head rush, dude. I have been getting so many things in my life done. Have you, have you been getting things done in your life? Yeah? All that editing you had to do for the podcast, right? That's right, George. These, I mean, it, things get i've been getting things done like nobody's business um this this guy uh leonard 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 something leonard i'm just going to call him leonard he's on twitter i i i post it at, at, at medium in my medium art well it's it's at the desk it's the desk you go to go to the go to my my pacific daily times blog you go to the desk I go to, and it's my the desk by Leonard something on Twitter. I was, no, I mean, this guy, he goes, you know, what you need to do is you need to, you need to push your own personal brand or whatever. Listen, I don't know if you got the memo or not. Resumes are a thing of the past. Now what matters is the link on your dot com your own personal you dot com landing page it's got all the links to your social media which shows where your work is it shows your pictures it shows where you are or it goes to your linkedin profile and that's where your resume is resumes are now they've been replaced by the work that you've done that people can see Never trust someone who asks for your resume. They should ask for your portfolio or they should ask for a place where they can see what your work has been by looking at you on, uh, on, on your presence on the web. Like I say, probably a landing page. Um, I don't, well, if nothing else, you get a Tumblr blog. Tumblr blogs are pretty darn awesome. And, uh, of course you could get a verb.ink, uh, Yes, why not? You could email me. 
of course, it's not too early to promote Verb.Inc. George, even though it's in beta, I'd, I'd offer people a deal on it if they got the awesome app cloud. But that I distract from the, the, the main point. I've, I, I just, I got a lot of stuff done today. I'm just, um, have you been getting stuff done in your life? You know, I emailed a friend and I said, I, I have a new ability to get stuff done all of a sudden. I don't know what it is. I can get stuff done. You know, all the, I, I talk about being busy and working, I think, in the last podcast. All this stuff happening, you know, I, I see people, and this this topic has been in my pile for probably the, the pod pile, the list of ideas that I go through. And this has been there for months. And I, it was during the whole election campaign. People don't know the difference between failure and success. They don't know what's going to succeed. They, they didn't know how Trump was going to win. And they don't know other people. Who's going to win? All this fighting in, in America. Look at, st- take a step back and look at what the fights are actually about. The people that are fighting, their number one argument for why they're right is because you didn't convince me. That's what they say. Oh, I just, I mean, they go on Facebook. This is just terrible. I mean, okay. I mean, just over 50% of the country disagrees with them. Just under 50% of the country agrees with them. So why did they post it on Facebook? I mean, if you lost, if you, if you predicted Trump would lose and you were wrong, why would you go tell people that you still think it's bad? Why would you, I mean, you were wrong. Who cares what you think? You shouldn't care what you think. When I'm wrong, I stop caring what I think and figure out what went wrong. Yeah, people that were wrong and they're going out around telling people, ha ha, I don't agree with you. You didn't convince me. <laughs> like, that's what we've got going on. They, they don't know the difference between methods and results. Uh, ends justifying means, I don't, I don't buy that. I did, it's not just, Jesus said, you know them by their fruit. Fruit names the tree. End doesn't justify the means. Fruit names the tree. And I know people by their fruit, by the results. Like the, the results are, you know, this is a, a car. Car factories make cars. How do I know something is a car factory? Because cars are coming out of it. Not because it says car factory. Not because the government certifies as a car factory. Cars are coming out of it. That's how I know it's a car factory. Now, we've got people in the country who think that the result is being able to convince people. So they go, ah, you didn't convince me. And then they go out and they try to convince everybody else. And when it doesn't work, they keep trying to convince other people. And what are the rest of the guys doing in the country? They're not trying to convince anybody except their banker by putting numbers in their bank account. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half of the people in the country running around, you didn't convince me, I want to convince you. And other people are working they're getting to work. You got Republicans and Democrats in both groups. You got a lot of Democrats that refuse to go out and fight. I'm not, this is not about supporting Trump or not. There's a lot of Republicans that are going out and fighting. That's the thing. It's divided all these different ways. I know the difference between results and methods that get us there. They are not the same. And I don't care if I convince you, and you shouldn't care if you can convince me. We just need to work. It's a time to work, man. We we're getting stuff done at light speed here. Wow. Let's work. And you know something else? All this terrible stuff going on doesn't need to personify and define us. So on that note, I'm just going to get to the point. Every day that we wake up and see the news, we ask the same question. What's the bad news today? You know, if it's in the newspaper, it's going to be bad news. But sunsets and our ability to see their beauty were both created by a God in heaven. He is beautiful. And he has the power to save and heal and bring such a happy ending that we remember none of the storm. Though we go through hardship, don't let bad news be your own narrative. The world around us is in darkness, but beauty can be your narrative. And that's the point. I'm Jesse Steele, jessesteele.com.